friends here in this video we are going to learn about the congruence relation okay let's start from the definition that is for a given integers a b and m greater than 0 we can say that a is congruent to b modulo m or simply write a is congruent to b modulo m if m divides the difference a minus b m divides the difference a minus b this m is called the modulo of congruent that is here the m divides the difference this m is called the modulo of congruent okay let's understand this by the by this simple examples here 19 we can say 19 is congruent to 7 modulo 12 because 19 minus 19 minus 7 is equal to 12 and 12 weights 12 okay here also 1 minus minus 1 here the difference a minus b that is 1 plus 1 that is 2 2 divides 2 okay these 2 divides 2 okay here the 2 3 to 3 to the power 2 this 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 is 9 9 is congruent to minus 1 mod 5 because here the, the difference is 9 minus minus 1 that is 10 is divided by is divisible by 5 okay okay now here the some properties of congruence relation that are if a is congruent to b modulo m and alpha is congruent to beta modulo m then we can write a x plus alpha y is congruent to b x plus beta y modulo m here x and y are variables some variable x and y are variables okay the second one is a into alpha this a into this is congruent to this b into this modulo m okay here we can raise the power okay here a is congruent to b modulo m this implies that a square is congruent to b square modulo m a cube is congruent to b cube modulo m and so on a to the power n is congruent to b to the power n modulo m here n is the positive integer okay now the fourth one is if fv any polynomial with integer coefficient then you can write fa is congruent to fb modulo m okay let's understand these properties by some example so let's here 7 is congruent to 2 modulo m that is 7 minus 2 is equal to 5 and 5 is divisible by 5 okay here also 9 minus 4 is equal to 5 and 5 is divisible by 5 so you can write this okay yeah the product of these two 7 into 9 is equal to 63 and the product of these two 2 into 4 is 8 okay is you can write modulo 5 because 63 minus 8 is equal to 55 and 52 is divisible by 5 okay next another one is 7 is congruent to 2 modulo 5 okay here by raising the power by 2 in both sides 7 to, 7 to the power 2 is equal to 49 and 2 to the power 2 is equal to 4 this also 149 minus 4 is equal to 45 and 45 is divisible by 5 so we can write this okay here the, here the basically this one is the always the remainder okay when 49 is divided by 5 it gives the remainder 4 when 7 is divided by 5 it, it gives remainder 2 when 9 is divided by 5 it gives remainder 4 okay by by using this concept we have a problem that when what is the remainder obtained when 16 to the power 2016 is divided divided by 9 okay solution here we know that 2 to the power 3 is 8 and 8 is congruent to minus 1 mod 9 because 8 minus minus 1 the difference is 9 and 9 can be divisible by 9 okay now by raising power by 672 on both side we get this 2 to the power 2016 and this keeps one because the even power of minus 1 is plus 1 okay now again by raising power by 4 on both side we get 1 to the power 4 1 and this power can be interchange okay 
this, this because this is a product and product is commutative okay 4 into 2016 here yeah, 2 to the power 4 is 16 to the power 2016 gives 1 modulo 9 because 1 to the power 4 is 1 and hence when the 2 to the 2 to the 2016 is 16 to the power 2016 divisible divided by 9 and gives remainder 1 okay hence thank you